uh, the spring summer, we are just going to be moving up the street to the Pearson Convention Center, which is located at Airport Road in 407. And the lunch will be included in the price, which is good. Also, the other good thing about it is that there is a hotel attached to it, so you can come stay at the hotel, park your vehicle there. You don't have to move it. Everything is good. So space is limited, so if you'd like to take part in the 40th anniversary of the Spring Summit, I encourage you to lock down your place right now with your registration and uh, head out to the IFB booth. Also, what is extremely important, everybody needs to remember that you have to scan in and scan out of each session to receive your credits. So please make sure that when the session is over, you get scanned out. And when you come in, get scanned in, what we will do is we will go around early, uh, our individuals at the doors, and try and catch people who come in maybe a little bit early and make sure that they get scanned in and out so that everybody gets their CE credits. If you have issues with that, by all means, just contact IFB. Um, so moving right along, it gives me great pleasure uh, to introduce our next speaker, Neil Kellick uh, with Canada Life. In 1992, Neil joined Canada Life as a brokerage consultant with the Ontario Brokerage Office, working with independent brokers throughout Ontario, providing them with sales concepts and Canada Life product knowledge. In his current role, Neil supports the advisory network group of the MGAs and the national accounts and is aligned to sell life insurance and living benefits. Neil brings over 30 years of experience to the independent brokerage community, working with MGA advisors and estate planning specialists who are in partnership with GTA PSC. So with that, can we please welcome Neil? Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for your time and your patience and your attention through the next hour. I appreciate um, that I am standing between you and lunch, so I will try to be, uh, try to be swift in, in my presentation. Uh, but I, I do have the good fortune today to deliver some, some interesting and some positive news with regards to our insurance platform. What I want to look at this morning is I want to do a fairly high level overview of Simple Protect and indicate some of the enhancements on that. You know, from, from a show of hands in the audience, does everybody know what Simple Protect is? I see two hands, three hands. Okay, well, we might dive a little bit deeper into what Simple Protect is and, and how you can use that and, and accentuate your practice. I want to talk a little bit about some of the new term products that the company has just recently uh, introduced, along with tools and calculators that you can use today in your practice. What we are trying to do at Canada Life is to provide you with the tools that you can take a conceptual idea and put it into a usable conversation with your clients, depending on, on what your, uh, uh, your intention is with that particular client. I'm going to switch gears a little bit halfway through the presentation, and I want to talk a little bit about our critical illness product, our CI plan. We've made some recent enhancements to that particular product that I think are important that you know um, and understand. And again, there is some, some pricing enhancements and some tools and calculators that you can use with that particular product. Okay, so what is Simple Protect? You know what, in a nutshell guys, Simple Protect is an online application process that you can sell term insurance and now critical illness insurance. From a term perspective, it's taking a paper application that could be potentially up to 32 pages and over 60 questions, and it's putting them down into 14 questions with your client. It's online, you're connected to the company. I've got a stat in a slide or two that shows you some of the turnaround times, but what are the advantages of taking 56 questions down to 14? You're not focusing on the process of a paper application, you're focusing on your client and your client's relationship and the needs that you have at that particular point in time. You'll see from some of the stats, the turnaround times are significantly enhanced because the amount of information that we're receiving back that is misleading or misguided or not filled out properly on a paper application, which we tend to find on a fairly consistent basis, we've eliminated that in the process. We've eliminated, because it's online and you're dealing directly with the organization, you've eliminated five to seven days of the application and contract effectively being in a courier bag, have you not? 
So if you haven't taken a look at, at Simple Protect and the ease of using this particular online application, come see me after the, uh, the lunch hour. Uh, I'll, I'll chat with you about the advantages of trying to implement that into your practice. Um, as Glenn said, you know what, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, I would probably be considered a bit of an old timer, if you will. And, and change sometimes isn't the most easy thing for us to accept. Um, I started in the business with a paper application and a rate book. If I can do Simple Protect and I can click off 14 questions on a laptop or an iPad, it's not a difficult process. So again, to recap, why would you want to use Simple Protect in your practice? Significantly less underwriting questions. As I said, you're taking yourself from, from mid-50s, depending on the product, down to mid-teens. The application can be completed in less than 10 minutes. We do have a practice site available online, so your first experience using an online application tool doesn't have to be in front of a client. There is a practice site or a sandbox site that you can go on to and you can play around with. My first experience using Simple Protect in the practice site, um, I ended up doing the 14 odd questions in about 16 minutes. After doing it a number of times, you become intuitive as to you know what the next question is going to be and, and you become a little bit more comfortable with it. I'm down much, much lower than 10 minutes now. Okay, so it's just a matter of getting familiar with this particular, um, this particular tool. Again, as I said, it allows you to focus on your client and that relationship as opposed to simply focusing on a 56-page paper application. Um, you have access to our existing product line. Clients can sign and review on their own device if they, if they need be. We can do non-face-to-face, -face, which is a new, uh, a new addition to Simple Protect. We're seeing enhances to this particular process land about every 60 to 90 days. So about once every quarter, we're seeing either new products added or new benefits added to this particular program. Again, we've gone to non-face-to-face. -face. We're eventually going to get to a position where we're going to have electronic uh, policy delivery. Again, so if you've got clients that are, 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 are a long distance away or you're, you know, maybe you're south for, for a while or you've, you've moved and your clients are, are moved and, and whatnot, this type of, of program allows you to continue to service those particular clients without necessarily being face-to-face -face with them. So what's new? Again, as I indicated, we've added non-face-to-face -face applications to this particular process, so you don't have to be sitting in front of the client. And we've also added critical illness insurance, which is ironic because I'm going to talk about some of the enhancements at the end of the presentation. This is a, um, a telling sign. We've got some stats. These particular stats are as of... Um, uh, the end of August for 2019. We've got paper applications, we have a traditional web app, which we've had for about five years, and then we have our Simple Protect, our, our, you know, I call it an app, but it is like an app. It's on your iPad or on your phone or on your laptop. And as you can see from the stats behind me, you're, you're getting significantly higher, one day or less, where over 52% of all cases are being approved. On a paper application, you've got to be 30 days or more to get to that same stat. So as the turnaround time and, and the evolving nature of this particular process is, is significant when you look at these types of stats. So, and who doesn't want to be closer you know, from, from you know, application to commission? If we can shorten that timeline down for you and for your client, it's a much more pleasurable experience for everybody involved. What we're working on next, we're working on combo cases. We're working on uh, critical illness for children. So our child CI app is going to be on this particular program uh, in the very near future. We're going to be adding new products. We're going to be adding PAR and UL on the insurance side to the Simple Protect platform. So not only does it, it start off with our, our existing and then new term products, uh, we're going to be looking at some of our permanent products. So you can use this for the, the entire product line. Joint first to die and e-contract delivery, which I just mentioned, are all in the pipeline to be introduced very, very quickly. So let's shift gears a little bit. I want to talk about some of the new term products that we've just uh, announced. We've entered what we are calling the other term market. 
So traditionally, if you've done business with Canada Life in the past, we would have had a 10-year and a 20-year term product. We've just introduced both a term 30 and a term 65 product. So we've got a number of different other options for you to offer your clientele. One of the unique features that we have is we have a seven-year contractual exchange program on our term products. So you can effectively sell a client a 10-year term plan, and in the first seven policy years, you can transfer that over to a 20-year term plan. In the first 20 years of that, or the first seven years of that 20-year plan, you can transfer to a 30-year plan, and so on and so forth. So what we're trying to do by expanding our portfolio is to offer you flexibility, even on a conversion basis. Traditionally, converting term insurance was only converting to a permanent product. So if you've got clients that either don't have a permanent need um, or have uh, budgetary issues with a permanent product, it's just too expensive. You've got longer term products that you now have the ability to offer, um, offer your clients. So term 30, very similar to term 10 and term 20, it is convertible and renewable. Um, maximum issue age on that particular product is age 55. Term to 65, again, if you've got a client that has a need for term insurance during their sort of traditional working lives, from a premium perspective, you should be taking a look at term to 65. It is significantly less expensive for a client on a long-term basis if they have that need for their working lives. Taking the number one spot, um, as Glenn indicated at the beginning, we've gone through some, some sort of significant changes with inside our organization in the last number of years. Uh, a lot of moving pieces and, and quite honestly that has taken some focus off of the organization being a top tier number one carrier from a price perspective. When we reprice our products and we look at them on a quarterly basis, we want to try to maintain what we would consider a top three positioning in all product lines. We don't have to be number one, but we want to be in the top three. We want to be in, in, the, in the conversation that you're going to be having with your clients. So in this particular product, uh, as you can see, we have taken the number one spot. That's a very, very busy slide behind me, uh, but your takeaway is, is, I've used term 30 as an example. 